How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of uh, HBM Mod. Last episode, we discovered a secret fortification that I completely missed because it was built into the train, camouflaged, hiding in plain sight. Anyway, we're gonna go. Like, honestly, I am not sure I did not see that. It's like literally a walk away from the base. Like, literally. <laughs> anyway, so we got ourselves a weapon crate, which we can open these with a crowbar. We get a bunch of stuff that we're just going to pile on the floor for now because that's just what we do. So, let's go ahead and just shove this down somewhere. Shove down the electric furnace over, uh, probably over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It will probably be used in some kind of automated process at some point. But for now, we'll just sit there and do absolutely nothing. The computer, however, is really useful. Recycling. I said recycling. Compu ah, yes. Computer is giving us good stuff. And then we have the radio. You can do it to radioactive nuclear waste barrels as well. Vacuum tube, amazing. Filing cabinet. This one, also amazing. Steel plates. Uh, then we got circuit boards. We have the everything right now. Look at this. Cathode ray tube. Vacuum tube. Wires. Wires. Powder. Ingots. Niobium. Like all of this we got last episode. But the most important of all of these things... Not the wrench. The wrench is kind of actually useless, but the uh, other stuff, of all the other things, is the, uh, this, the bobblehead. Let me show you what to do to a bobblehead to make it into something useful. Shred it. Smelt it. Bop it. Oh, dang. Never mind. You have polymer. <laughs> One piece. Now you should save that. If you're gonna try to do the coal oil process, you're gonna need to get three bobbleheads to make it actually less of a headache, because then you don't have to deal with bitumen. That's the best way of doing coal oil. However, what I'm gonna do to deal with coal oil, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, completely ignore coal oil and find ourselves actual oil. And that's, that's easier said than done, because you have to find an oil deposit. So let's go scanning for a bit. This is legitimately the most painful part of finding oil, is finding the oil. It's pretty rare. It's black gold for a reason. Because of how rare it is. But oftentimes, once you do find it, it's more annoying to move it. Or to pipe to it. Because in both cases, you have to deal with either having the oil in one place, or you have to deal with moving the oil, which can both be headaches in themselves. And unfortunately for us, it seems like there's no oil here. There's like actually none. There's nothing. As far as the eye can see, there's no oil. I should really put a bridge across the river so I can make getting to the base easier, because then it, then it would I won't have to swim across the river. Also, I'm not redoing the pillars that I made a cobblestone or the other details, because that's not essential. What's essential is having the walls and roof being all concrete. Because then, nothing can explode against my base, basically. Uh, except for nukes. We're not built under the ground, so a nuke will just take this place out right quick. Uh, but if you built a base under this one, out of concrete, and if you just kept building down and down and down and down and down, and just made a giant pillar this wide, this would probably protect a large cone under the ground if it got directly hit with a nuke, so... That's how that works. But if you're trying to take out somebody's base and they have done something like this, where they put this base up here, and then they put a small base, like about the same size, like a million feet below this, it will still be covered in stone, like it will be cone shape, like around it. So, <laughs> that's, how the, that's how the nukes work. It's weird. Weird weird physics mechanics behind it, but it just works. Oh, this is, this is bedrock oil here. You know, I'm starting to think we should have made the frack sh the fracking tower instead of trying to find oil. Uh, fracking tower would probably be uh, way simpler, considering that the uh, oil is really right next to our base. There's oil. Now, this is tar. 
don't know what this is good for. Probably something. Oh, dang it. There goes my streak of not stepping on landmines. Was that a VZ-69 bounding landmine or something? Oh my gosh. Man, I was over here just looking at the tar sand and uh, thinking, wow, I kind of like this tar sand texture. Like, I wish all the sand was like this, but then all of a sudden I got explodimicated and my armor's about to break. Which I'm kind of sad about that. Hopefully, I don't step on another landmine today. But their odds are not in my favor. Also, how the heck did a sheep manage to climb up? How did a horse get up here? This, this, these are the questions we should probably be asking ourselves instead of those other questions, which are not important. Oil's not real. I'm pretty sure oil's not real. It's just made up. Because at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm just, there's nothing. There's no oil anywhere. I've been scanning for for 10 minutes now and there's legitimately no oil. Or maybe I'm just unlucky. Like really unlucky because this stuff is usually it used to be really common. Or maybe I am only finding small deposits, which this won't detect. Yeah, we'll only find larger deposits. Super no oh I heard another landmine. I'm I am just a I'm gonna get exploded, aren't I? Just about just just gonna be going on a stroll. All of a sudden Wing Landminicated. Come on. Man, where is this thingy? There's gotta be oil somewhere, dude. Come on. Come on. Oil detected. Please, please, please. Just be green. Just be green. I'm pretty sure the oil is actually at spawn. Uh, I think there's some oil over there, but I'm not too sure. This thing, this is, this, this is, this is not going well. It's going really bad. Turbo bad. Ooh, hey, we can make a redstone farm, I think. I don't know how those work, but uh, there's a witch hut over there, and witch huts, they, they have like four spawning layers, I think, and they, they, spa they spawn witches. Yeah, so, so you could you could technically farm witches from a witch witch hut. So that's that, that's how that works. And then you can get redstone, and sticks, bottles, glowstone, uh, basically anything you can't get from other mobs. Oh, it's orange! It's orange! It's gonna be under the witch hut. They have the oil. We gotta go in there, fellas. Get your M16 ready. Get your box of crayons. We're going in. We're going in to take the oil. It's a huge deposit, isn't it? Oh, come on. Okay, it's not under the land. Okay, I guess they're safe for one day for now. Directly below. And now, of course, remember what I said. This is absolutely the worst spot to find oil, by the way. But also, because it's so far out, I can just mine it and then bring it back. Which works. Optimal solution. Solve the mechanic. Problemified. Let me place down my really hard dirt. Oh, you thought I was gonna say something, <laughs> bruh? Let's just go. <laughs> Let's get this stuff placed down. Come on, give me this pickaxe. It's like cardboard. It's cardboard dirt. Have you ever heard of that? Like it's like an art, and they make it from mud and they polish the mud. Have I, I've talked about this before. So you have to have heard of this at some point if you've been a long time viewer, but they polish dirt into balls. Into like little polished balls. It's like marbles. Looks really polished. Like really shiny dirt. How do you get dirt to be shinier than gold? This makes dirt the most valuable thing. You know that, right? Now the inflation on dirt is going to be insane because dirt is dirt so valuable. Like man wants dirt because dirt so shiny. The dirt market's about to completely be destructified because of what just happened with polished dirt. Now, if you want to polish dirt for yourself, all you need is a towel and a bit of patience. So all you gotta do is take 
the dirt, roll it into a ball, right? Get it in a nice, perfect ball, and then start polishing the dirt, okay? Now, it might take a bit, trust me, trust me. It will take, it will probably take a bit. Or like, it doesn't even have to be a ball, I bet. Like, you probably just do a flat piece of dirt. And I recommend just doing a flat piece of dirt. It might be easier to do a flat piece of dirt. So just like, like a brick of dirt. Just take a brick of dirt, right? I, I'm feeling like I've been lied to. There's no actual oil here. Like, I am really feeling like I've just been lied to. By the oil detector, which says, There is an oil deposit directly below me. Well, guess what? I'm at Y21 and there's no oil. What? This is this is how this is how it's gonna be today. We're gonna find no. We're gonna find fake oil. Oh wait, actually, there's real oil. That is amazing. This is the most beautiful substance I have ever seen. And look how much of it there is. We gotta get it all. Oh, I thought we were under the ocean, but no. It turns out we're just underneath some some water, which is way better than being under the ocean. <laughs> Okay, so I've mined basically all of the oil that I can. I'm getting ready to go, but I think I can mine a little bit more. I think I got enough room for, like, if I throw away a few items, I can make some room for a little bit more. That would be the most perfect amount of oil. And then we'll just bury this right under the dirt, and uh, we'll have our first oil celebration ever. We'll, we'll celebrate our oil in the right way by by shooting oil with our oil jack or air oil derrick. They actually shoot out oil, and if you place fire next to where they shoot out oil, it will cause massive explosions, and it's really fun. So, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate with some fireworks. Today is 6-23-2024. So remember that for your calendars. We celebrate Oil Day on this day now. Officially. Well, I just got out of Danger Cove just in right nick of time. Because I was about to get completely eradicated by some zombies. Yep, that was just about to happen. There was like eight of eight zombies that were just down there, swimming in the hot tub, chilling. And then I mined through the wall of their hot tub, which was made of oil deposit. And then they decided, huh, you know what? Let's go ahead and chow down on this guy who just stole our oil. Bruh, isn't that happening today? Not to me, I'm, I'm getting out of here now, because th there's a lot of... Bad fellas now in this. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm on mud. I'm on thin mud here. That's not even a funny joke. Like thin ice, but it's thin mud. <laughs> That's so stupid. Bruh. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at parkour. You see my parkour skills right now? I am so good at placing down all this hard dirt. Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye, fellas. Going places. Gonna go do things. Okay, so which one do you want to run by more? Skeleton or another a mustard gas creeper? You know what? Both. Oh, you don't want to run near that. Those guys will, like, they will destroy you, okay? Now, you want to get in the water as fast as possible. ASAP. And then swim your way there. But we all know using legs are better than swimming. And we've caused some uh, destructive occasion, I think. Now, remember to bring some extra rations, a.k.a. rotten flesh. You can get this from anything. And then, go really slow while you wait for your hunger to go away. To be honest, I probably could have piped 600 meters. It is 600 meters from the base. I probably could have piped out there, but, uh, no. I chose not to. Because, why? When I can just carry the oil deposits with me. Look at this. Complete genius. Mining oil to drill oil. Now, there's a bunch of bad fellas waiting for me on that shoreline. There's actually a load of bad fellas waiting for me. Now, which set of bad fellas do we want more? The skeletons or the guys who can't hit us because we run faster than they can? Well, of course, the guys who are about to swim into the water to try to get us. <laughs> it's perfect solution. We'll go for them. And also the green fella because he exploded case and, and, and can't actually fight back. We'll just swim past this guy. Actually, you know what? We're already on the shoreline. Let's just go up this way. Up the center. Wait for them to all start fighting. And then we just completely run out of there. Give him the slip. Perfect. The enemy troop composition here is, uh... Pretty not in their favor because all their guys have to chase me to get me. 
Whereas if it was Skeletor, the sniper, he'd be blasticating me from a mile away. Okay, I really want the Giger counter. Please give me that. I'm not smacking you with the paper. Come on, give me the Giger counter. Giger counter. Giger's counter. Yee. Yeah. We're almost back to base. But uh, first, we gotta go ahead and uh, slap the gate some fellas here. Get rid of them. And then steal their rotten flesh and their lunch money. Are you kidding me? There is oil detected nearby and it's in the ocean. It's directly below. Are you, are you kidding me? There's oil there. I will have to mine that one next, but first, let's go ahead and set up our oil deposit. So we're gonna have to redo the connection here because this is gonna be an interesting setup to do uh, for the connection part of it. We're gonna set up the oil right below this. So that's where the oil is gonna go. It's gonna go, just go like this. I think the most annoying part of this process is having to place down all the oil because the, it, there's a lot of oil. Look how many stacks we have of oil. It's so much, dude. Yeah, so we gotta place that all down and there's like not, we gotta dig out all this stupid stuff first. And then I broke my shovel. So we can't do the easy stuff. We can't do it in the dirt. We have to just do it down here as is. So, yeah, because mining dirt with a hand is not as fast as mining stone with a pickaxe, I don't think. Or maybe it's, it's just as fast. Who knows? Depends on what pickaxe we're using, which we're using a pretty good one here. So, it should actually be pretty easy to get this all placed in. I, I, this part is just the most annoying, I think, is placing it all in and having a space to place it all in. But after it's all done, we'll be able to swap out this cartridge of oil, which I think is what I'm gonna refer to this as, as a cartridge, because it's kind of like a block. It's not like a natural deposit, it's just a cartridge. It's a straight up block. It's like something you put in an NES. Good thing is, our steel reserves are gonna be going <laughs> just straight in the air, straight through the roof. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not, I mean, <laughs> Man, that's that. I think that might be our methane deposits, honestly. I mean, considering that sound, <laughs> that sounds more like methane to me. But I guess it could be oil. <laughs> or steel, I mean. Bro, it's probably like, please eat, please eat. You have no hunger bars. No, we are winning here. We do not need to worry about our hunger bar right now. We have to worry about placing the oil deposits and getting this episode over with before it's 30 years long. Like our hunger bar is at zero. Our health bar is going to be at zero. Oh my. Well, it's gonna be at a half. Technically speaking, it's not really zero. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Fella. That was very helpful. Well, if you want it to be zero, all you need to do is drop a piece of gravel on your head after you hit half a heart. Again, another astounding observation from the State of the Obvious Department. Dang, so much oil. This is taking forever. Okay. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah we got some oil here. So, you know, you weren't supposed to mine this. Come on, good. There you do this. <laughs> Uh, I I always like that. It's my favorite part of of mining the oil. You're not supposed to mine it. Come on, get a Derek, you doofus. Yeah, put that in memo and title it stuff I already know. I'm I'm putting this in the ground. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this done. Well, it sucks. I uh, I got more oil and uh, I didn't fill in the uh, entire ground of oil. Whoops. Uh, well, we'll just save it for the next cartridge. I mean, it saves me a couple oil trips, doesn't it? Because I don't want to walk 600,000 below. Okay. We almost just zero-fied our health. We almost actually achieved zero health. Hey. Prepare to be dinner. <laughs> Yar. Dinner time. Bro. Look at that chow. It's, it's the rotten flesh chow. It's moldy meat. It's been infested by raw sewage. Oh, oil, 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 oil. 
Yum, 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 yum. Can't wait to get some, uh... So you wanna know how Coca-Cola's made, right? Well, let me go ahead and show you all how to make Coca-Cola in HBM mod. So we're gonna go ahead and make some Coca-Cola today. So Coca-Cola is the best drink. Well, guess what? It's made from... Oh my gosh. Come on. Is this gonna... Is this is gonna... Oh, okay, it doesn't do anything. Ah, it just adds another wire. It's double the energy. So here's how you make Coca-Cola in HBM mod. You take yourself some cobblestone, fill in the surface above your oil cartridge so nobody can see that you've done some cheeky business when you dug the hole. Fill it with oil deposit. Boom. Look at this crude oil. And that's all we really need to do. It will clog with natural gas. Are you kidding me? I still have to go down the other way. I can't just use the stairs and go into the base like a normal person. Or oh, what the heck? It's because our hunger is just it, completely destructified. I'm about to eat a, a whole can of napalm. Just to make sure that we don't have to worry about hunger again. Let's go ahead and eat canned fried chicken. Perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, leftover conserve. Is half? That is actually the worst. MRE. Good. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> back at two hearts. And the oil should be going. Should be going and shooting out the stuff. Yep. Perfect. That's amazing. And then once this is all depletified, I'll mine it out of the ground and turn it into regular oil deposit straight down to cobblestone, gravel, whatever. Perfect oil setup. And we're making light oil. Petroleum. Yes. Naphtha. Light oil. Oh my gosh, dude. We don't even need to go to the nether. We don't. This is amazing.